Hello everyone, it's me Samiksha, one of the CCN CCN PR and is trainer of Network Alliance Idama. Today, I'm going to discuss about the IP addresses. IP address is a logical identification to each of the computer network devices that helps to make the communication using the internet protocols. So let me go through here. First of all, you have a certain devices. Okay, let me suppose you have a desktop. You may have a wireless connection also. You may have a laptop too. Okay, and you may have the smartphone as well. No problem for that. And uh, you connect your desktop to a switch. And there is a router, uh, normally broadband router, or what we can say. Uh, it has uh, both features, wired and wireless. So uh, it is also getting the wireless network as well as you are getting the wired network. Okay, so after that you get a connection okay internet connection from your nearby isp and furthermore and there are the different other services okay isp is there and uh, suppose let me suppose you want to use a certain feature of your google okay certain uh, you want to watch the certain videos of your youtube and many other resources okay so whenever Although we use the various services, first of all, like uh, this is a physical structure, okay? This is a physical connection. So over the physical connection, only the physical connection is not enough to make the communication from a particular source, okay? From a particular source to a particular destination. Why? Because they must have an addresses, okay? They must have an identification so that they would be recognized and easily source and destination can communicate that means if you are sending a request to your destination then that request must be reached to your exact destination so for that case each of the devices okay each of the network devices are assigned with a ip address that is a logical address okay physically you have a structure and physically each of the devices will have a physical address known as a mac address but the vital role is played by your IP address for its logical identification. IP address is a like numeric value or what you can say okay it depends upon the its types and each of the devices must have to be assigned with an IP address that means it each of the devices should have a addresses so that it can reach to a destination and destination can easily reply back to the exact source. So let me suppose uh, you may have your like mobile phone and it may have a particular number okay so that you can uh, call to your friend okay and you will be uh, like you will be recognized by that similarly IP address is categorized into two types uh, we talk about the both of them one is IP before address another is the IPv6 address okay it is IP, IP version 4 and it is IP, IP version 6 so so let me go through here like this all the IP manipulation okay IP manipulation is done by the INA INA is a one of the public domain and the public organization which works over here for the IP manipulation you may know that like we have the two networks okay two networks means we have a physical network first okay now the physical or what you can say a private network first of all you have a private network or the local network you can call it as a local network also local area network also and you have the another network called the WAN. so each of the IP addresses each of the IP uh, versions have categorized it or have divided its IP addresses on the basis of the lane or what to use on the lane side or the private side and what to use on the wine side so and another thing is that we will talk about the ip before address first so ip before address is categorized into various classes okay and it has a certain range or the or what type of ip address you can use on your device and what is not allowed it to use or the what are reserved so let us go and check it out which devices can use the which type of IP addresses. So let me go through here. 
uh, we talk about it we have the two type of addresses one is IP version 4 and another is a IP version 6 I, IP version 4 okay internet protocol version 4 is a 32 bit addresses okay 32 bit means let me suppose 32 bit means it is a like a little bit right or IP address like 192.168.110 okay you may have seen these addresses like this is the format of a IPv4 addresses like each of the addresses or the each of the segment it divided into four okay you can see over here four of the segment is here and another thing each segment okay each segment contain 8 bit that is a octet you can call it as a octet also or 8 bit also okay we are talking about the IPv4 address so all together you have the 32 bit addresses okay 32 bit in total addresses that means we normally know the decimal format but here the computer understand about the binary format so whenever we go to the uh, like decimal format then we are going to have 2 to the power 32 addresses worldwide okay that is total th uh, addresses that we are going to receive or total number of devices that can assign the IP address is 2 to the power 32 addresses and this is the one of the format of your IPv4 address it is written one of the number will be written over here and a dotted sign will be there and another and dotted sign that means it is separated by the dotted sign okay dotted point and you may be curious that how much number we can assign over here on the each of the segment okay that is only the 8 bit you can assign the value up to 8 bit that is how much addresses you can assign 2 to the power 8 because this will hold only the 8 bit addresses on decimal because we write in the decimal format so we should know 2 to the power 8 that is a 256 number you can assign over here but the number will start from 0 and will uh, and if you count from the 0 then 255 will be at 256 will reach from the 255 so in each of the segment you are only allowed it to write 0 to 255 and then again 0 to 255 values okay and then again 0 to 255 values and then 0 to 255 values in each of the four octaves again you are not allowed it to write some of the IP addresses or the IP before addresses so let us go and find it out okay so here it's a 32 bit addresses and its format is written like this one and uh, one of the X okay one of the segment contain the value of 0 to 255 and total addresses we are going to have is 2 to the power 32 addresses and uh, already told that it is separated by the dotted sign okay like this one in each of the segment and it is divided into 32 bit addresses is divided into four of the octets okay 8 bit 8 bit and 8 bit and 8 bit that means it only holds 8 bit means 8 bit means 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 okay 8 bit uh, total uh, 0 to 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 okay total 8 bit this much to this much okay that means it, it will hold a value up to 8 bit and that we know that it hold the value up to 0 to 255 while we will write in the decimal format so here are the sum of the classes assigned or, or the classes are categorized in IPv4 address first is like um, there is a all together class A, class B, class C, class D and class C. I already said that we had the addresses from 0 to 255. Okay, we had the addresses from 0 to 255. So, so from 0 to 255 is also categorized into each of the five classes. So any of the addresses, okay, just like we see a uh, 
address is that 181.68.1.1 like that on if any of the addresses that start from the 1 and uh, 2 3 4 and so on to 126 then it will belong to the class a addresses and if any of the addresses that start from the 128 and ends with the 191 that means 128 129 and so on to 191 then it will be belonging to the class B addresses similarly 192 to 223 will belong to the class C addresses and similarly 224 to 239 will belong to the class D addresses and finally class E addresses 240 to 250 uh, like 54 okay we use the many addresses but among that class D and E are not allowed it to use okay because D is reserved by the multicast addresses and mm, we as a normal user we cannot assign in our devices for the ISP use it for the multicast purpose and for class E addresses we are not allowed it to use uh, because it is used for the research and deployment or just you can say it for the experimental purposes so the second thing is that we know about the range okay uh, in class E addresses you can also say that here it belongs from 0 to 127 uh, but uh, normally this is a valid addresses uh, why because if any of the addresses that start with the zero okay any of the addresses if that start with the zero then it is known as a global addresses that we cannot assign in our device okay that means our devices will not support this address you can call it that and another is the 127 addresses this is a self communicating or what you can say it, it will reply back to your device and this is a loopback addresses and if any of the addresses that start from the 127 we are not going to use it so let me check it out let me show you first uh, I have opened in a packet tracer I have the sum of the devices I want to use uh, here okay IP configuration I want to use the addresses that start with the 0 I want to use the 100.100.10.110 okay so you can clearly say that this is the invalid IP addresses and that you can't use okay and another 127 addresses it is a self assigning addresses okay let me go over here let me check it out ip config ip config means show me the ip configuration it will show you the addresses that is assigned to your device so you can see i have addresses ip before addresses that is 192.168.10.105 but uh, but whenever I ping to the 127.0.0.1 or any of the addresses that start with the 127 then you can see that it is giving me a reply back. Why? Because this addresses is a self communicating or the self it will reply to the back. Okay. So this is a look back addresses. So let me go over here. Uh, let me jump to the prefix bit. What do you mean by prefix bit is that uh, let me give you an example you have organization okay you have organization and uh, you have a switch and uh, another switch is also there and you connect the devices you have a device okay? let me suppose you have the 100 devices 100 computers or any of the device laptop okay smartphone and we know that to make a communication to the internet we obviously require a IP address so for that case that means you have the 100 devices means you require a 100 IP addresses but which of the addresses which of the classes is to be assigned to this network or, or what IP can be assigned on the first device and what IP can you assign on the second device what IP can you assign on the third device and so on so this is all categorized by your related prefix bit okay prefix bit is that means prefix bit will help you to find out in this network what will be the network okay in this uh, in this particular your uh, organization network what will be the network of your IP and how much user can be assigned to that addresses that means how much host you can receive from that so it is categorized or you can find out through the use of prefix bit okay that means let me give you a proper example like here you have assigned addresses 10.1.1.1 and you may be thinking what 
IP can I use on the second devices to make the communication to the first one okay so that problem is solved by the prefix bit now the uh, this is the uh, like in the binary format we call it as a prefix bit or the subnet length and in our decimal format we call it as a subnet max so the in the second device uh, either you are planning to use the like 11.1.1.1 will two of these addresses will able to make the communication here or you just have to assign the addresses like 10.1.1.2 or so on so let me go over here and show you okay which of the addresses you can assign so let me go over here prefix bit means the uh, like if any of the addresses is of 1 to 126 then it belongs to the other it holds the 8 bit or the first octet bit is hold as a prefix bit by the class a addresses and class b addresses it holds the 16 bit class c addresses it holds the 24 bit and uh, further subnet marks okay because we already knew that 8 bit is a 255 so subnet marks is 255.0.0.0 and class b addresses 255.255 because it holds the two octets that is a 16 bit okay and class c will hold the 255.255.255.0 because it holds the 24 bit as its network so you can clearly see over here that network and host that it is your 8 bit okay 8 bit has been completely fulfilled like this one let me go over here let me show you if it is a a class then what do you know it holds the 8 bit that is first 8 bit has been occupied that is 8 bit means 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 bit has been occupied and remaining order okay because our addresses is of 32 bit so remaining other are you can assign the value over here but the, this first octet has been completed okay because in binary you know that we only have the 0 to 1 so this 8 bit has been occupied so you can assign the other value you can make a change okay on the other octet that is 8 bit has been your network it is known it annotated as a network okay and other are your host okay so this means that if you pick up the address from the a class a class means which address 1 to 126 addresses so any of the addresses you can pick like i want to pick up the 100 now okay i want to pick up the 10 okay 10 dot 0 dot 0 dot 0 and it's of 8 bit okay it's of 8 bit because we already said that it belongs to the a class so it was the 8 bit as a subnet bit so in this so uh, let us just go over here we have a one of the device over here and another device and another device so if you want to make if you want to assign the ip address on this single network on this lane network and make a communication between the de uh, different devices then you are planning to use a certain ip obviously okay so in the first what you assign 10 dot 0 dot 0 dot 1 okay this is the address that we assign on the first device okay on the second device what do you have to assign because 8 bit has been completed that is you have a one of the 8 bit is your network bit and remaining author is your host so that the network to make a communication in a single network okay your network must be the same your network bit must be the same and your host should be different okay at least your host should be different but your network must be same so on the second because we know that is it is a add bit so first octet is your network and remaining other is your host so on the second your network must be same 10 must be same and host can be different okay different means what value you can assign over here you can assign the value up to 255 so i just assign the 10.100.1.10 10. so these two devices will be about to make the communication but what about if i use addresses or if i make a change on the third that is i want to assign the 111 uh, okay 11 and 10 on the third device then this device will not be able to make the communication with these two why because its network bit is different and that is done by your prefix bit that means the prefix bit noted that it is a 8 bit addresses so 
your first network is to be same to make a communication within a same network so what about if i if you have the another network over here okay in, uh, suppose this is a company a and inside this company a network we are planning to use the 10 addresses and in the b uh, company b we are planning to use the different addresses okay so for this for a single network we are going to use these all the addresses and for the another you must have the different network okay so here you can assign the addresses like any other addresses like you can assign the 192.168. like 1.10 okay 1.10 addresses over here 1.10 1. Uh, like 1.11 1. 1.12 and so on that means this is a different network and this is a different network but you cannot use the 11 over here why because these devices will not able to make the communication between the two because this is a single network and there is no any de uh, such devices we can make a communication between the different network so always remember that to make a communication in a single network you must have uh, addresses that has the network bit as a same okay so let me check it out like another thing another thing we have to be careful so if you if you are assigning the a class addresses then how much devices can you assign on this okay you assign the for uh, uh, 10 0 .0 0 1 on the first device on the second like 100.110 okay 110.1 uh, .10 on the third devices on fourth devices on the fifth devices and so on okay so how much devices you are going to have is that you are going to have this is the first bit is been occupied by your network bit and the remaining other is your host and host you can make a change so that means host it 8 bit 8 bit and 8 bit total how much bit that is your host is all together 24 bit so here on this network you are going to have the 2 to the power 24 addresses or the 24 2 to the power 24 devices in this network if you have source devices okay if you have that much of devices then so this is what your particular prefix bit will determine but again again okay what i'm going to write is that you are going to write in a decimal format so this is your ip this is your ip and we are going to write a certain subnet max okay subnet max and here the subnet max will be 255 because it's a 8 bit okay uh, don't forget that it is a 8 bit and even is your host bit so for the 8 bit 8 bit into the uh, decimal format we are going to write the 255.0.0.0 okay on the second device we also have the same subnet third is also going to have the same subnet fourth up to 2 to the power 24 addresses you can assign on this single network and to make a different network your network bit must be different okay not to the same your network bit must be always different so let me let me check it out let me show you the same thing over here that is if you want to make communication between the two devices like this and this then their ip address must have a same network bit so here 10.1.1.10 i assign this and you can see that subnet max is 255.0.0.0 and on the second device also I'm going to use the I want to use the different network okay first of all I'll show you 192.168.10.1 and it gives the submit marks of this much okay we'll talk it about later so let me go and check it out whether these two devices will make a communication or not 192.168.10.1 yes we have to wait for it it's four packet will be going no no it's not making a communication because first say a first packet says that the request time of second is also said that the request time of but still let us wait for the third and fourth also okay third is also request time out and finally the last packet yes you can see that it's a hundred percent loss why because we clearly know that it has a 10 okay it has only a single letter that is a 10.1.1.1 it belongs to the class a addresses and this belongs to the class c addresses and another thing is that they have the like it has a, only a single network okay only a single network 10 the 10 must be same on the second device but here what happened is that your network is a completely different so the two different network cannot be make a communication so let me go over here use i want to use the now same type of addresses like 10.1.1.100 okay okay so 
15 uh, network bit is the same now so first device is and uh, second device is network bit is same so let me make a communication from here okay let me ping to the 100, 100. yes you can see that both of the devices are making a communication so i hope you no now understand that what was the like role of the particular prefix so here on the class A addresses, it is going to assign the 8-bit, class B addresses, that is going to assign the 16-bit, okay. So for the class 16-bit means, uh, what, 8-bit and 8-bit, okay, 255, dot And uh, here you can clearly see that if it is a 16-bit, then it is going to have the two of the bit as your network bit and remaining two is your host bit. So let me pick the any of the addresses from the class B, okay, 128 to 191. So I want to pick the addresses like it. 172 okay 172.16.0.0 .0 .0 and it's of 16 bit and uh, also it belongs to the class b why because in class b 128 to 191 okay this range belong to the class b so 172 belong over here so it belongs to the class b and in class b if it is a class b then it is going to be a 16 bit addresses 16 bit means First 8 bit is completed and second 8 bit is completed and remaining other are left. Okay, so this is a bit, this is a format on the bit. But what we write is that we write in the or like you can also write like this uh, 8 bit is completed, a 16 bit is completed. Yeah, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 bit is completed and remaining other is left for the as a host okay so two of your is your network and two of your is your host so if you are going to have a okay if you are going to have the devices over here on your network and planning to use this b class address then what you have to do is that first devices you assign the IP 172.16.0.10 okay on this first devices and it's of uh, how much bit 16 bit okay so you are going to have a subnet max how much 255.255.0.0 why because it's of 16 bit okay so we have to write on the decimal format and in decimal format we are going to write the 255.255 this is for the first devices so if you are planning to use the uh, planning to make a communication in this network then what you have to do is that your two network bit must be same over here two network bit means this first and the second must be same over here why because it is a 16 bit and and so on so 172.16 must be same you can make a change on the host bit okay you cannot write the 0 0.10 here also otherwise it will duplicate okay because both of the uh, both of the uh, devices gonna have the same address so they will be confused to whom they should make the communication so both of the devices will stop working so here i can write 0 0.102 yes i make the change on the host bit so these devices is gonna make a communication right now so on the third uh, subnet max is same okay subnet max is same so on the third device what are you going to use your network must be same network means 172.16 must be same and uh, you can write the any 0 0.111 or anything but never thought that here are the two network bit okay that is a 16 network bit so 172.17 if you write like this one then they are not going to make a communication with these addresses like the 0 0.1 okay i write this then it is not going to let me suppose there is a device and you assign this ip then what will happen what will happen these devices will not able to make the communication to this one why because it is also of okay why because its network 16 is here and 17 is here okay that means their network bit are different so they will not able to make the combination so be sure that if you are assigning or or whatever network you are going to assign that network bit must be same that host bit must be same and the host should be different to make a communication in a network and that is categorized already by the standard format of classes so b class is also completed okay so and the for the c class addresses what will happen is that if you have the any addresses if you are planning to use the any addresses that belongs to the c class that is 192 to 223 range okay then it occupy the 24 bit that means a uh, three of the three of the octet is completed uh, 
that means uh, on the network and host three of them is your three of the oct uh, octets is your network and only the one is your host okay so that means let me pick up the addresses like 192 from the 192 okay 192.168 suppose 10.0 and it's of 24 bit why because it belongs to the c class addresses then it is it is going to have the how much subnet 24 bit means 255.255.255.0 okay that means on the network and segment third uh, octet up to third octet there is a network bit and only one is your host that means let me suppose you have uh, devices over here connected like this one on the same basis and you are planning to use this address on a first one device then then okay on the first device what we use is that 192.168. Suppose 10.100. You assign this IP on this one, okay? And subnet is the same, okay? Subnet is this one. Then on the second device, what you have to use is that because it has a three network, yeah? Because it's of 24 bit. So here the third up to third octet it must be same, okay? 192.168.10 must be same. Why? It will represent that it belongs to the same network. Otherwise, if you make a change like this one, okay? Uh, one, 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 right? If you make a change like this one, that 192.168 is same, but in, in place of 10, what you write? You, you write 9 and like 10, okay? And 102, okay, anything. Then what will happen is that your uh, network, okay? Network bit are not same. 192.168.9, Your network bit are not same. So the third devices is never gonna make a communication with the, these of the two. Why? Because they belong to the different network, it belong to the different network. So I always think that to make a communication in a single network, your network ID must be same and the host should be different. So here, how much host you are going to have? Okay, if you are planning to use these all the addresses from the C class addresses, then how much host you are going to have? Uh, 24 bit is completely network so you cannot make a change you can make a change only up to the last bit only last bit means 8 bit only last 8 bit only okay because total is 32 so last 8 bit only that means 2 to the power 2 uh, sorry 8 okay 8 yes 8 is your host that is how much addresses 256 but uh, we never use the two of the addresses okay the very first address on this one that is we don't use 192.168.10.0 because it is known, uh, noted as a, a network ID, okay? Network ID, so we don't use this. And uh, another is uh, like 192.168.10.255, okay? And this is we noted as a broadcast IP for this network, okay? Broadcast IP for this network. So we don't use these two addresses, okay? We don't use the two addresses, but uh, in between them, like 10.1, 10.2, 10 2, 10 2, 10 2, only 54, we use that addresses. So that means how much addresses you can, uh, if you have organization, okay, if you have organization, then how much addresses you are going to have is that uh, if you assign these addresses, okay, then uh, you can assign up to 254 uh, devices over here, okay, not more than that. That means if you have the devices, like 500 devices you have, okay, 500 computers you have then you cannot use the B class, uh, C class addresses. Why? Because each strands only give you the 254. That means you cannot assign the different network also because this is a single network, okay? Single network. So we can see over here, we cannot make a change. And we already see in the A class also. We cannot make a communication between the different network. So we have to use the same network. And if our host is like that sound, okay? Then which addresses you can use? Either you can use the B class addresses, either you can use the A class addresses that is whenever you have so first of all you have to go to the classes and you have to go to the possible host how much host you can have okay and then always uh, we write the subnet max also so like this on ipv4 address is classified into the class a class b class c class d and class e addresses and we talk about the subnet max and we can design these addresses and here uh, last time i say that we have a private network and we have the public network okay so uh, we have the private network means let me suppose this is your isp okay this is your internet service provider uh, it provides the network connection to the various clients okay various clients okay this is a client one and another is client is also there another client another client is also there and like this onto the 
various clients okay so each of the client each of the Tabigo network uh, will have like what will happen it has a private network I already said and it has a public network okay public is normally we can say as one and private is normally we call it as a lane so in lane network you are going to have a certain addresses only okay you cannot use the other and in public network there are the certain addresses you can use and for the public addresses we always ask for the isp or the isp perform that and isp has also get a certain range of ip from the ina registry okay and there are the ina registry and you have to get an ip from the related registry uh, on a list uh, for a certain time and that is done by your isp so you don't have to go for that but uh, as per the isp they will get a certain uh, range of addresses from your uh, related ina registry and will agent to you so public addresses is different private addresses is different okay so what of the addresses you are going to use in your private is uh, any of the address that you start from the 10 okay 10.0.0.2 10.255.255.255 why because it belongs to the a class and 172.16 to 172.31 okay and 18.168 to 18.168 so this mode of addresses are you are going to use in the private network okay in your network and this and accept this and accept the resolved IP okay except the D and E class except the private IP and except the 0 and 127 we are going to use on the public public network okay in in a public network and one more thing that the last it is one it is left over here that is up to 254 is also uh, only over here okay so one of the addresses we are going we are not going to use that is 255.255 uh, okay any addresses that is start from the 255 we are not going to use why because it is noted as a broadcast address so that is also reach up okay so you can write over here also so this is how the IPv4 addresses has been classified so uh, you can use the any of the addresses like if I use the one and two addresses okay if I go for the C class then what I have to do one and two dot one sixty eight dot like ten dot one if I agent this then if I want to make the communication uh, agent I agent this addresses on this first PC now what is this 192.168.10.1 it belongs to the C class it's of 24 bit that is it has a 3 network bit 3 network segment and 1 is your host so if I, if I am planning to make a communication to this device on a LAN network okay so what IP can I use I have to be sure that my network bit are same with this one so network bit is 192 must be same 168 must be same 10 must be same and host should be different you can use the any of the host like 10 dot on 10 okay so let me show you the another thing also that i have said we cannot use the addresses like 192.168.10.0 i cannot use this on the very first address because this is a network id and i cannot use the another address last address is uh, 255 because it's a invalid so that's why i did the minus two okay that was the case so i can use the any of the addresses over here tender 254 uh, and it's similar to this one so you can see tender one and the network bit is same okay so let me go over here let you have a look okay yes 192 is same 168 is same 10 is same because it has a three it must be same because it's a 24 bit address and a host is different so these two devices will make a communication so let us have a look from here sorry let us have a look from here from the command from i want to ping to the one at one say tender 254 and check it out whether they can able to make a communication yes you can see that they can they are making the communication hope you understand uh, so this is how we assign the addresses so let me give you the only uh, like uh, hence for the what the difference between the IPv4 and IPv6 and just only that much only okay uh, because we see on the IPv4 address we only get the range of 2, 2 to the power 32 addresses in total and also we see that there are the so certain reservations also okay certain IP address you cannot use it from the IPv4 address but uh, so in order to fulfill the range of our and another thing is that each of the devices should uh, use the unique addresses okay not the same unique addresses they must have a unique addresses and uh, to make a communication to the internet okay uh, to the various network 
so for that purpose obviously uh, we are not being able to like this ip address is not able to fulfill the demand of the addresses that we require to assign on our devices in today's world okay so they launch the ipv6 addresses which is of 128 bit address okay 128 bit addresses that means we are going to have the 2 to the power 128 addresses so it is a very large uh, huge range okay huge number of addresses that we are going to have from ipv6 addresses so till now both of the addresses are being used okay slowly and uh, also have to we'll uh, talk about the ipv6 addresses also later on so this is the difference uh, why ipv6 address has been launched uh, just so one of the major reason is that ipv4 the uh, like the limitation of the ipv4 addresses uh, to overcome the limitation of ipv4 address ipv6 addresses has been launched so hope you understand this is all about the ipv4 addresses or the ip address why we use on our devices and uh, about the subnet maps why you use okay so you can also see over here i have the one and two one six eight that network and this is my subnet marks and the gateway is here and we'll talk about the gateway too also okay this is just only about the ip uh, subnet